Hello and welcome to today's update on COVID-19 from Tokyo. Japan's state of emergency is no lockdown. Then what is it? Prime Minister Shinzo Abe declared the state of emergency in Tokyo and six other hard-hit Japanese prefectures to fortify the fight against the coronavirus outbreak. But this is no European or Wuhan-style lockdown. So today we will answer some questions which will give the details how is this emergency different from other lockdowns. Question number one. Why did Abe declare a state of emergency? Abe was facing heavy pressure to declare a state of emergency after the number of new cases in Tokyo began doubling every several days in late March. The city of 14 million had around 2,000 cases as of Tuesday, up from about 600 a week earlier. Experts found that one-third of Tokyo's recent cases were linked to hostess clubs and other night entertainment districts where cluster tracing is difficult. Meanwhile, compliance with calls for working remotely and other social distancing has been weak. Question number two. Is all of Japan affected? The state of emergency announced Tuesday applies to only Tokyo, neighboring Chiba, Kanagawa and Saitama, Osaka and Hyogo in the west and Fukuoka in the south. That is only seven of Japan's 47 prefectures. Residents are requested to avoid non-essential trips within and outside the designated areas, but there are no restrictions on travel. Some Tokyo residents drew criticism for rushing to escape from Tokyo to the countryside. Number 3. Does a state of emergency cause a Tokyo lockdown? No. Abe and officials say Japan cannot legally enforce European-style hard lockdowns. Public transportation is operating as normal. Most state of emergency measures are requests and instructions. Violators cannot be punished unless they fail to comply with orders related to storage or shipment of emergency relief goods and medical supplies. Number 4. Why is Japan not imposing a hard lockdown? Japan's history of repression under fascist governments before and during World War II has left the public worry of government overreach. The country's post-war constitution lays out strict protections for civil liberties. Abe's government was reluctant to risk severe economic repercussions from more severe measures. Number 5. What measures are taken during the state of emergency? The state of emergency allows prefectural leaders to ask residents to stay home. They can also request closures of schools, some child and senior care of community centers and stores and businesses that are considered non-essential. They can advise organizers to cancel or postpone events. The governors can also request use of private property to build hospitals and other medical facilities. Number six, what are essential activities? Essential activities and facilities including banks, Grocery stores, postal services, pharmacies and utility companies remain open. Some retail stores and entertainment venues such as music theatres, concert halls and amusement parks can be asked to shut down. Public schools in Tokyo and some neighbouring prefectures already are closed until early May. Number 7. Can people still go out? Yes, residents can be out for purposes considered essential like for work, hospital visits, grocery shopping and according to a cabinet office statement they can still go for a walk or a jog. And how effective is this? Abe on Wednesday repeated his request for the people to stay home and reduce interactions with people by up to 80%. But in the downtown Shibuya district, business was almost as usual. Rush hour trains were still crowded and commuters were heading to work, though fewer people were seen in other areas. 
what is the potential impact on the economy abe also announced an unprecedented 108 trillion yen stimulus package equivalent to about a fifth of annual gdp to pay for coronavirus measures and protect businesses and jobs it includes 300000 yen cash handouts for some hard hit households a month long state of emergency in tokyo area could cause consumer spending to fall nearly 2.5 trillion yen according to nomura research institute that's all and keep watching